Yo, what's up, YouTube? So last week we built this ramp, right? You see, I got some plant turrets going on it. I'm trying to show you guys how to, you know, do the defense. Oh, you didn't see that over there. Right? Well, today I want to show you guys a couple things. Some cool dinos and how to build turret towers. Turret towers. There's one of the cool dinos over there. You see it. So turret towers are really important on PvP servers. You got to protect your base. And so this is something that's going to help you guys protect the base more. So here we go. Oh. Oh, there's some towers over there. All right. So I started doing the plant turrets, and uh, I was having issues with the watering because my server, private server, has slow day cycles, so it doesn't rain as much. But you see here, you put plant crops all along this, and it's golden, right? So anyway, check out these cool dinos. This is one of the celestial dragons you can tame on the Noonkai mod. Just so you guys know, if you haven't tried it, find a server with a Noonkai mod. Try it out. It's really fun. Crazy dino. This is the smaller version over here. I have a level 15,000 compi in here. He's running around killing everything, as you can see. Really fast. He's my clear the dinos area. And then I got my gigas collecting all the fiber. Not gigas, but gigantos. Because the fiber is annoying. So, alright. So I got four different turret towers over here. Granted, this is based off of higher rate servers. If you're playing official, I mean, if you have a big tribe, you can farm this kind of stuff, but. You know, it does take some materials. So, we have four different types here. I'm going to turn off fly. This is a very generic, simple turret tower, okay? You just put this on the ground anywhere. And pretty much simple enough. Generator, one wire, electrical junction box, ladder to the top, right? And then you have the catwalks all around the sides. And the plant turrets on the other three spots. This will slow people down from getting to the top. Shoots people. Very simple, very easy design to do. This is what we recommend on every base, no matter what. Around your base, have these these towers, right? Next, this is designed by yours truly himself, me. It's called a death tower. It's Boaz's favorite design. So you come in to a single layer, climb up the ladder. Ooh. On the back side, you have your generator, of course, hidden. Every generator should always be hidden. Then out here are your turrets. We have like a little layer of gap there. I'm sure Barty won't approve of that, so that's okay. You climb up. Now, this is the important part. You climb up here, and here you have windows. So you can actually snipe people from these towers. This is cool, because you can actually snipe people from these. These towers are really good for overhanging bases. This is a room where you can put a bed and a chest with some guns, just in case you can spawn into it. Then, of course, the roof. You got the plant turrets in the middle. Always plant turrets. Helps slow people down. And then catwalk turrets all around, right? So, this back cubby is your generator, right? It's hidden inside there. You got your room. You got your sniper windows. Very simple design. Single layer. I think it's a lag. Ladder going up. Another ladder going up. You got door. Door. It's really simple. If you can't figure it out, message me on, on YouTube. Leave a comment. I'll walk you through it. So that's the second one. This one's for overhanging bases. So like, let's say this would be closer technically. But you put a little closer, you have a pillar right on the edge, and then you're kind of overhanging the edge. That way, if people try to fly underneath, they still get shot by the turrets that would be overhanging. I didn't do a very good job of doing that, but that's what that's for, especially for pillars. If you're building, like, on an elevated platform that they have around the map, in fact, one of the popular ones would be uh, right south of me. In that river, there's two, like, platform pillars there. Uh, right in that direction over there. You actually can kind of see them straight ahead there. Uh, it's really common to have these type of towers overhanging the edge so that people can't fly underneath your base. So the third tower is like the first one we designed except for there's two layers. You know, it's if you have a higher gather rate, it's a little easier to have more turrets, right? So you have two layers, right? Very simple design, just like the first one. You come inside. You have the generator, and you have a buffer, so it's what they call buffer layers, it's, so if they try to break into the top, it doesn't just destroy everything in one hit. 
The next layer above the generator is where your doors and the first turrets are. Then you have another layer. Sorry for the lag, this is crazy. I may have to crouch. I'm having to crouch. <laughs> this is another buffer layer. So there's nothing here. It's just like, hey, you gotta blow up more stuff to get into the, to the bottom if you go from top. <laughs> and the top is the same as the other one. You got the plant turrets, catwalks. Super important to use catwalks on your turret towers. Because if you don't, people can run up to the wall and pretty much not get shot. Whereas if I run up here, that one's gonna shoot me, you know? So put your turrets on catwalks, it's really important. If you don't, I'll blow up your base, I promise. I mean, I'll probably blow up your base anyways, but yeah. So you have that one, that one, and that one. The last one is the hardcore, like, if you're playing on a high rate server and you just want turrets where people can't do anything, this is your tower. Um, the way this one works is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But you have your generator in the back, cubby. If you have pocket generators, you can make this one tall, but I had to make it two tall to protect the generator. Protect the generators, guys. Don't let them stick out. You let them stick out, and you will blow it up. So you run one wire straight, junction box, wire straight up, and every single layer is... <laughs> a I'm just gonna fly but there's a layer of turrets so there's turrets out of every single one of these doors right every layer door turret all the way up to the very top right and every layer has turrets just massive amounts of protection anyone flying a bird by this is gonna get lit up something I didn't add here that you should you should definitely add is plant turret plots all around the floor so they can't run up to the base. Just make sure it's not underneath the catwalk or it will not get watered by the rain. So make sure it's outside from the catwalk. So these are the four turret towers, I guess, that we design mainly for most of our bases. There's a couple other designs you can do. If there's any designs that you guys do, hey, leave a comment below saying, hey, this is what I do or whatever. And, uh, you know, help other people out, other people that are watching the videos. But those are the four common ones. Again, a Nunkai mod is what these dragons are from. There's also some other crazy, crazy dinos, but this is another build episode for you guys. I think we'll start building a little base up in here, and I'll show you guys some some uh, like honeycombing designs to make sure your bases are protected from those high-rate servers when people have thousands of C4 blowing through your base. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Make sure to smash that like button if you're liking the build. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, comment, be active on the channel, and, and then I can be active with you guys. Uh, you know, it's all about chatting, hanging out with other gamers, so this is also my little shack for my building structures over here. So, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, have a wonderful rest of your week. It's almost Friday. Look forward to it. Have a wonderful weekend if you don't watch my video tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye! Oh, yeah.